Hi, this is Lucy Bertu from the University of Bristol doing Space Systems Engineering and an introduction to GMAT or General Mission Analysis Tool. It's a great open source tool for space mission design and navigation and it was developed by a team of NASA private industry and public and private contributors. What we're going to have a quick look at in this video is how to start off and just the basic menu structure. To find GMAT, first of all, go to uh, sourceforge.net and um, projects and GMAT. You can just uh, Google that. And then if you go to files uh, and then GMAT, then you should be able to see all the different versions. We're going to choose 2018 because uh, that's the version that's compatible with the ones on the University of Bristol computers. You can see here all the different versions. Here's the Mac version. Uh, there's Red Hat and Ubuntu for Linux, there's a Windows installer, and there's a binary uh, bundle uh, of Windows as well. So you can just install whichever one is suitable for your machine. Once you've got it installed, and make sure it's all in the same file folder uh, to conserve the uh, structure of the folders, then you're just going to click on the app, or otherwise go to the exe file to run it. It takes a little while, and then it's going to come up like this. Here's the welcome screen and uh, you can see on it there's some quite a few helpful helpful things here. There's some step-by-step -step text tutorials and then there's some video tutorials. It has your most recent scripts up and then there's a whole bunch of links and resources which are really useful. There's the source code, uh, there's a reference guide that's like a user guide, there's the wiki, uh, there's also an online version of the user guide. Uh, some sample missions which are really nice if you want to uh, expand your learning and look at a few other things and there's also like a discussion forum there and you can report an issue so all of those useful uh, but you may want to get rid of this uh, file just for the starters so what we're going to do we're just going to uh, press I just press the run button there that's this one here and it's going to run the default mission. This is just uh, something to get you started. And you can see here uh, we've got three tabs. We've got a tab which is called resources. We're going to have a look at these in a minute. Uh, one called mission and one called outputs. Okay, at the bottom we have some messages from GMAT uh, which is useful and uh, it'll often say mission run complete. If I scroll back you'll see that there's some little error messages. Unload, uh, unable to load the dynamic library, error loading, uh, fmincon, uh, and so on. Don't worry about those. Those are just compatibility uh, things and it's not a problem for what we're using it for. Okay, so uh, on this main screen you can see uh, an orbit view and you can also see a ground track view. And uh, if I go to the play button uh, for start animation, this blue one here, then uh, you can see my, my little uh, satellite moving uh, there. So I can uh, slow down the animation a bit and play it a bit uh, once again or I can speed it up here. I can stop the animation, that's also quite useful if you're halfway through and you've realised already what you want to fix, uh, so that's also useful. If you're going to um, save files, uh, you can have the usual sort of open, a recent, save and save as, that's all under file. Uh, you can look um, at various different versions of the windows, you can tile them horizontally uh, and so on, so you can just uh, have fun with that. And then here we have once again some links uh, for the help uh, to the various different resources. I would highly recommend uh, saving your mission here or uh, file save regularly just because uh, just occasionally um, GMAT does crash and uh, it's possible to lose everything that you've worked on. So please save regularly if you want to save yourself uh, some GMAT tiers. <laughs> Let's go first of all to the resources tab. The resources tab is where all the GMAT resources are organized into logical groups and you can either add or edit or rename them uh, or even delete them if you want. So you can edit it either directly in the GUI like I'm, I'm doing now. So uh, for instance, we can go into the default spacecraft. Uh, we can change the epoch format to something a bit more familiar. That'll give us UTC 
uh, universal time uh, Gregorian, and, and then we can use maybe Keplerian, uh, uh, Keplerian elements, for example. So we can edit this in the, um, the GUI, or we can go to scripting. This is slightly more advanced, uh, but for example, I've got a script here, and I can double click on the scripting and I can go into this. This uh, scripting is kind of MATLAB based. So uh, if you're familiar with MATLAB, then you'll see uh, it's very nicely set up with you can see all the force models and you can see you can either upload or just edit directly into the script there. So in the resources tree, you can add in a spacecraft, you can add in ground stations, you can add in fuel tanks to the hardware, uh, different types of burns, different types of propagators. You can see here I've expanded the solar system, so we've got all the planets that are all in there, but you can add in uh, moons or asteroids. Uh, different solvers and optimizers, um, different types of output puts. You've seen the orbit view and the ground track plot, and there's various different versions of those. Uh, you've seen the scripts. These are the different reference systems uh, which can be used for the uh, orbit view, so that's useful too. The mission tree or mission tab is in uh, this part here, and this is a kind of ordered hierarchical display of your script commands for the mission sequence. Uh, and it represents the, the list of commands that you're going to execute to model your mission. You can see it's, uh, it starts off with uh, propagate, uh, but then you might insert after that any of these commands. Uh, typically, well, maneuver uh, or target or uh, one of these. And you'll look at these further when you, you carry on with your GMAT programming and do some exercises. Then we have the output. The output tree uh, contains data files and uh, plots for after a mission is executed. And the files consist of uh, outputs from report file and ephemeris file resources. And the plots consist of graphical orbit views, uh, so they might be in there, uh, or the ground track plots uh, will be uh, plots of the the ground tracks. You can also do some really nice XY pl plots. Uh, you can pick your own parameters and display those. So um, you'll be probably using the reports most frequently. So that's the end of our little quick tour of GMAT. Uh, just to remind you that uh, if you need help, uh, then do go to either the welcome page uh, or the online help, Thank which you is very for useful. Watching. Uh, you, you can go straight to uh, 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 the user guide there, which is really great. Um, then also when you're finishing, remember to save or save as. And if you just want to exit, then you press the exit. Okay, thank you very much for listening.